G'day, my name's Darrell Webb. Today we're going to have a look at the Elton Goods Ultralight Titanium Grill. Let's get into it. So I've always liked to cook on a fire. Every time I've, um, even from when I was a, a kid and going camping with my parents, we always sort of cooked over, over a fire. So it was a, bit of a pretty natural thing for me as I when I started camping and first got my license and whatnot to cook over a fire as well. Um, lately I've been using these days, um, just over the coals, I, I put down a little, I've got like a trivet I guess, it's, it's actually a, a cake, um, a cake cooling rack and that's done alright. Um, the only thing is it's it's quite big in your backpack or and um, it will quite often leave it's got no no bag or covering like that so it's easy to get, get the rest of the stuff in your in your in your pack dirty so I, I thought I'd get something like one of these um, the thing that I sort of liked about this was it, it came with a nice uh, lined nice lined pouch and uh, the grill itself is um, is very very light being titanium um, but also uh, packs down small in your pouch. So for this type of stuff, that's what I was sort of after. If you try to cook for a, a big group of people, this is this is not really what this thing is designed for. This guy is um, is for sort of one or two people. You know, you'll fit a couple of Scotch fillet steaks on there or a few snags, um, and that, and that should do the job nicely with it being titanium. It's got a high melting temperature. The welds all look like good quality. The stitching on the pouch itself all looks like good quality. So I'm hoping this will this will do well. You know. I haven't used it yet, so these are all just presumptions. Anyway, but if I can get this fire going well enough, because all the wood's all damp out here, so I'm gonna get it going well enough. I've got a few sausages. I'll try it out and um, and see how it actually works. Hopefully it does a good job. You know, we'll get to that in a minute. Alright, so we had this going for had this going for I don't know, maybe half an hour. Hopefully there's enough coals there now. Give it a heat there. I'm gonna go with a couple of pieces of wood. This is the first time using this one, so I don't know me spacing yet. There we go. It's so cute. First time on. We're defrosting him. We've got to defrost him, do we? It'll be frozen so I like. Yes. Yeah. Top. There we go. Oh, and the kids, the, the kids want to try chicken nuggets. I said, oh, I don't know if that'll work, but we'll give it a go. And then we'll see how this works out. <laughs> chicken nuggets. Not sure this is going to work, but we'll find out. Never tried this before. Nuggets are cooking a bit too fast, maybe. There's a lot of heat there. Hmm? It might actually work. It might work. I'll leave those ones there for a minute. I'll have to do a bit of swapping around, I think, but. So the nuggets are actually cooking on there surprisingly well. <laughs> Didn't think they would. A bit delicate cooking, but. Okay, that one's gone. The kids are going to kill me. I keep on chucking them in the coals. Oh, yeah. So I think these nuggets are about as done as they're going to be. Especially the ones that I dropped in the ash then too. Don't worry. Kids, if you can't eat them, I'll have to 
<laughs> take one for the team, I'll eat them. Smoky flavoured chicken nuggets, eh? Something different. Is that one mine? Yep. I have one too, a bit of tomato sauce, it should be. That's what my meal will pick down. And I just want to be lucky right now. Bit of tomato sauce. Deep not having one. Yeah, but you don't get all the chicken nuggets. And that should be fine. <laughs> Alright, let's cook them alright. The grill doesn't seem to be too dirty. I'll let that sort of burn off a bit. Not too much, not with flame, just the coals dried out and then it should make it a bit easier to clean. Anyway, see how that goes. Hey. Well. Look at the flies are off. Oh yeah. It tastes alright. It's just like a normal snag I've done flame grill. They always get that bit of smoky flavour off the fire, which is good. Do chicken nuggets take smoky? Smoky? <laughs> they do? Oh, that's good. <laughs> a bit like when we do the spit roast. Pardon? Is it a bit like when we cook the spit at home? No. no. I guess we never cook chicken on the spit, do we? It's always pork, isn't it? Alright. Well, so far it's a winner. Okay, so finished cooking with it. Gave it a quick rub in the sand and a quick rinse in the water. Um, that always cleans them up probably good enough just to stay in this, um, this little pack with this vinyl on the inside. Uh, so what's the verdict? Um, well, it's light, I think it weighs 118 grams, um, it's strong, it's titanium, and um, it seems to function good, so I'm pretty happy with the way it works, um, pretty happy with the, with the whole process. Uh, pros and cons of it, uh, well one of them is a pro and a bit of a con, the, pa the packaging that comes with it is, um, it's very heavy duty, if you're a car camper, it's fine, like you're not going to wear it out, it's really strong. For a um, for a hiker or a backpacker, maybe it could be a little bit more light duty just to save some weight. The packaging um, is maybe a tiny bit heavy. With that said, I've seen some of these, I think they're copies of these online. I've seen some on eBay and that, they're about $10, $15 cheaper. Um, but they come with a big fat neoprene case, so that sort of defeats the whole purpose. So I, 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 I would actually advise to buy the genuine Elton Goods thing. Um, speaking of Elton's good, Elton Goods, um, I, I bought a few things from there now, and actually every time you buy something from there, it actually comes with a little handwritten note from the guy, Sam, at Elton Goods, um, actually thanking you for your, purpose, for your purchase, and um, I think you'd have to be pretty happy with that. So I imagine um, customer service and it's pretty big on pretty big on their agenda. This uh, said it weighs 118 grams. The packaging is pretty light. It's strong. And I think the price is pretty fair for titanium gear. This comes in at $65 Australian. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description for this guy. So if this is something you're interested in, um, check them out at Elton Goods. As I said, I'll put a link in the, in the description. Anyway, on that note, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like um, camping, fishing, cooking, and um, gear reviews, then um, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Bye.